Give me a minute and let's talk about an update on the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. This is a statement from the International Atomic Energy Agency director, director's office. General statement on the situation in Ukraine, and you'll note the date there, uh, 18 April 2024. Another drone has struck the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. This Now, we were warned by the Ukrainian SBU, the intelligence services of Ukraine, that Russia was planning another false flag attack against Zaporizhia the way that they did with the three drones 10 days ago or so now. Uh, 10 days ago, three drones, lightweight drones with very little munition on them that couldn't possibly hurt the, the concrete dome of the Reactor 2 building were flown into that building. And they did no damage, but it caused a lot of terror in the population. Of course it did. Just like this one is intended to do. That's what these attacks are about. They are about trying to get Russia leverage by terrorizing the local population into a panic. There is no need to panic. The Russians know what they're doing. The drones are light, have light munitions, nothing that could even really scratch the surface of the concrete bunker that the reactors are in. And it is important to remember that all six reactors are now in a state of cold shutdown, which means that it's much harder for us to get into a situation where those reactors could possibly go critical. So this is yet another attempt of the Russians to keep us up at night, right? There's a reason why the missiles always come at 3 a.m. so that we can't sleep through the night, so that we are exhausted, we are tired, and we are more willing to submit to Russian aggression. No, no, the, this is not a real thing. It is just an attempt to terrorize you. Ignore it, ignore it.